Yo, what's up guys? Okay, I know I didn't post on Friday, but I'll explain why in the end, okay? Don't get mad. For this video, I want to give three fighting tips that I genuinely wish I knew about and practiced sooner, so let's just get into it. The very first tip, don't entertain build battles and force people to box fight you. Honestly, for the most part, build fights, they're not even part of the meta anymore, except in certain situations, because now it's mostly about box fighting. I run into a lot of players that start a fight with a build battle, and then they just sit above me saying, my high ground now. And the reason you don't want to build battle them is because the longer and the higher you build, the longer the fight, and the more likely you'll get third partied or just shot down. Ideally, you want to end a fight as soon as possible so you can move on and focus on rotating or going for the next kill. It's much more important to be mindful of these things, especially in a competitive setting. It's not worth using all your materials on one player because even if you do kill them, you're potentially left with little to no mats for your next opponent. That being said, instead of challenging someone who over glorifies height, box yourself up and force them to come to you, and force a box fight. If you aren't comfortable box fighting, I promise it's definitely something to work on because it finishes fights quicker and it's easier on your materials. I made a little video with some box fighting pointers if you'd like to check that out, otherwise there's plenty of other great box fighting videos you can watch from other people. The second tip is about peace control. I can make a whole video about peace control, but for this video I'm gonna be brief about it. So peace control is basically prioritizing controlling the builds around your opponent, which ultimately gives you an offensive and defensive advantage. So the keyword there is prioritizing. In this case, that generally means build first. You don't look for the shot first, you build to close out their escape options, and after that, you look for the shot. The hardest thing about learning this is that it's very easy for people to shoot first when you have an opponent in your crosshair. But if you shoot first, you allow them to react and build and put a gap between you and your opponent. Every other game you've probably played in your life builds the instinct to shoot first as soon as they get in your crosshair. So it's a hard thing to get used to, especially in the beginning. That being said, take your time and practice peace control. It'll keep your opponent from escaping, which ultimately keeps your fight shorter. And then for the third and final tip, this is a pretty overarching tip that it's not specific to Fortnite, but it can be applied here. Play to your strengths. This video is in the context of fights, so some examples would be if you have a controller, specifically on PC, you take advantage of aim assist and you get in their darn box, oh no, and you get in their darn box and you get to work. If you're strong at mind tricks to throw off your opponent, use them in your fights because most people don't expect them. If you're a top tier box fighter, force a box fight with every opponent. I'm not taking part in the aim assist debate that goes on every single day, but I do recognize that it's definitely a strength and it's a prime example of something every controller player on PC should take advantage of. Whatever strength you have as a player, whether it's a mechanical strength or a mental strength, recognize it and do whatever you can to force your opponent to play on your field. On that note, I'm gonna wrap it up. I know I didn't post last week, and for those of you that don't know, I'm now a father of a fire wyvern. I'm just kidding. I'm too young to have kids. But seriously, I've been playing Ark Survival and 2K, and along with school, my time management has been completely atrocious and it's 100% my fault. I know I asked for 500 subs and then I didn't post. Now I look goofy, so I'm sorry. Thank you so freaking much for 500. Here's to 5,000 more. If you have any video suggestions, feel free to let me know. That being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.